Okay, now that your turn on. Hey guys, I'm gonna be reading here. I have one more package to open with you guys today. This is from Valentine Sweet Reborns. Um, her name is Sharon or Shannon Valentine. I've ordered from her before. You would have seen a clown and a monkey. And I have two more dolls currently on layaway. I just started paying for them, so I still have a long way to go. You get three months to pay off her dolls. I've never gotten a custom from her. God, I don't know where my scissors are. Can't get this open. So annoying. Sorry, guys. Ugh, like, I literally cannot get this open. Um, so I actually found this lady. How did I find her? I think she had told me she had a monkey for sale. I was looking for a monkey in honor of my grandma because my grandma got me into dolls and she loved orangutans. So I have a monkey and a clown. And then these two, and then I have two more on layaway. Okay. So we have this bag in this bag. Let's see, we have a headband. So just like your standard stretchy baby headband in pink. We have a white headband, stretchy standard, that one's been tied. Then we have two pre-made, I have several of these. I prefer the custom made ones, but these are the pre-made ones you can buy online. They're magnetic pacifiers because most Reborns generally do not have a mouth. And if you cut a mouth hole, an opening in their mouth, it will ruin the vinyl. So most people put magnets in them unless asked not to, like if you have a pacemaker or whatever. Some people will do like magnetic bows and stuff too. Now, I don't know the names of these kits. I didn't really pay that much attention when I bought them. I thought they were cute. The one kit that I did buy from her was a pickles kit, I think. And the other one, I want to say it was Bindi, but I don't think it was Bindi. So, like I said, there's two of them. Um, lately, I've been partial to buying girls for the simple fact of I don't feel the need to buy boys. And I've always been more partial to girl baby dolls. When I was a kid, my grandma bought me the doll that started my collection, which was my... Joey Reborn, my, or Joey, my Ashton Drake, or, wow, Joey, not my Ashton Drake, my Lee Middleton, which led me into finding Reborns, because I really wanted a girl, because I hated, for whatever reason, when I was a kid, I hated boy dolls, unless it was, like, brat dolls, my scene dolls, bar Barbie dolls, I hated boy baby dolls, I don't know why that was a thing, but it was. Um, so for, so I've been partial to buying girls lately. So this one has painted hair, which I don't have very many with painted hair. Most of mine have rooted hair. This one has painted hair. I'll tell you what, um, my first baby wears preemie size, I believe, my monkey. This one wears newborn. And my other one wears, I think, zero to three months. She's got painted on eyebrows. These, I believe, are rooted eyelashes. Here's her little face. She is weighted, but she's like sand weighted. Oh, 
Oh, I did not know this. But she is actually a cuddle baby. Which means she does not have limbs. She has a custom cuddle body. She doesn't have hands. So she, I did not realize that, but she's a cuddle baby. So her feet are the same way too. She does not have real hands or feet. Which I did not know. I don't know how well I can show you that. She is zip tied in the back. Because sometimes they're tied, sometimes they're zip tied. But I don't want to completely undress her. But I can kind of sort of show you. So see her hands? They're not plastic like her face. They're just... They're special. They're, so these aren't the bodies that come with the dolls. They're special made bodies for these dolls. For cuddle babies. Um, her body is skin colored. You can get cuddle babies with all different variations and patterns on their bodies. Because they're custom made. But I mean, other than the fact she's a cuddle baby. Because I didn't know that when I bought her. I love her. She's a good size. She's similar to my favorite Reborn that I'm really attached to. Because right now that I found downstairs. Ooh, I can't remember the name of the artist that I got that one from, but I'm attached to this one baby because she's the same size as Traxxon when he was born. Then we have this baby, which is a little bigger. What size is... Hold on, let me see what size this baby is. This baby wears zero to three months. Okay. So this baby as well has painted hair. And it's another girl. The next two I have on layaway are girls as well. This one is not a cuddle baby. This is different. I don't have a lot of babies with full limbs. They'll have like three quarter limbs. So this is what her, ah, what her hands look like. I don't know what kit this is. But I thought it, it looked like a knockoff from Walmart, or from Amazon. Or not from Amazon. A knockoff, yeah, from Amazon. But it's not. She's a bountiful baby. The two most common, here's how you know if a baby is legit or not. You'll, one way you'll know is they'll say bountiful baby on their back of their necks. Or if they say McPherson, those are legit websites. I really want a Ping Lu baby. I mean, I do have a silicone baby otter from Penguin, but I really want a Penguin like actual baby. But she mostly works, most of her babies are through I almost said McPherson. Through not Bountiful Babies, what's it called? Oh, I can't think of it. Paradise Galleries. Yeah, most of her babies are through through Paradise Galleries. So the outfit that baby, the first baby has on, I am going to tell you is a Walmart outfit, because it's Wonder Nation, <coughs> which is fine. I don't really care where the outfit came from. So this is baby number two. Again, she's a girl. She's got painted hair. Um, I don't, wait, what color did this first baby have? They both have blue eyes. These are like a, this, her color blue. Almost matches, come on dude, move. Almost matches my cat, no. Almost matches her onesie. They do have the glass eyes. These are not made for children. These are for adult collectors. I know children have them, but honestly, if I was gonna get one for a child, I would either get a, a fake one off of Amazon, which I don't, I mean, I'm not partial to, but I do have one that was my grandma or my great aunt's. Um, or I would get like a Paradise Galleries or Ash and Drake doll as a starter. Before I got one of these guys. She does not have... I can't tell. I don't think she has... Nope. She's weighted with sand. I'm not used to them being weighted with sand. Because most of mine are... Glass bead weighted. Um, These eyelashes are way too long. For her face. She's got the paint on eyebrows. 
and the eyelashes. The eyelashes are way too long for her face, though. I don't know if you can tell. And then she's got the little socks. She's got the full arms, which, which full arm does not always mean that the arm goes all the way up to the socket joint. Full arms, her arms go up to here. So if they're that high or longer, they're considered full arms. Shorter arms usually are only like elbow up. And then she does have the full legs, which most babies, I believe, do have full legs. Full legs means it's hip joint down as, I almost said silicone, not silicone, plas um, plastic. Here's her little feetsies. Um, plastic. Vinyl. Sorry. I do have one silicone reborn that I actually got free with another doll that I bought. But I'm obsessed. They're so cute. Like I said, I've now bought four dolls from her. A monkey, a clown, and these two. And I have two more on layaway. I'm absolutely obsessed. She's really great. Her name's Sharon Valentine, I think. But you can look up. What I say the name of her thing was? It's Sweet Valentine Sweet Reborns or something like that. On Facebook. Go check her out. She's really, she does three month layaways. Um, she does costumes. I'm not, I want to get a costume from her. She's m my new favorite artist. Because most of the artists I currently have dolls from either don't do costumes or don't make reborns anymore. So I'm super in love with my little babies. Um, oh, in case you're wondering how the pacifiers work. So you see their mouth. I'm going to show you on this one. And you see the pacifier, all right? If they're done correctly. Sometimes they're not centered, which is really annoying. Sometimes it's not, like, sometimes it's not centered. But you, looking head on, you can't tell. But looking from this direction, you can tell. So let me see. And, um, sometimes... Sometimes the pacifiers are interchangeable which these ones are, sometimes they're not because obviously magnets have a north and a south, if you know anything about magnets. So some of them depend on how the magnets are put into the dolls, but if you're using the pre-made ones, then you don't get a choice on how these magnets are put into the pacifiers. So you have to match up, obviously, this part to this part. I can't remember if my other two have pre-made pacifiers. I'm pretty sure the clown does. I'll grab the clown here in a second. I don't know where my one is. So, hold on, I'll show you. So, hers, as you can see, is not centered. Which means you have to keep adjusting the pacifier. Because if they're not centered, the pacifier won't sit center. But sometimes it's not centered, like I said. And you can't tell from the front angle but from the back angle so like from back here you'd have to be looking at it i can't like you can tell that it's not centered but sometimes it's not centered to the point where you can't tell from you can tell from the front and the back so let me go grab because i don't know i don't think i know where my other one is at this car moment but i do know where the front is but she's right here so I believe this baby is the pickle kit. So this was the second doll I ever bought from her. I do not believe her eyelashes are rooted, like my first two are. Whoops, let me put her headband on. She's a lot more floppy than the, the other two. I don't know why she was made that way. Um, 
Um, I can't remember if she comes with a... Hold on, I'll tell you here in a second. If she came with a... Yeah, she did come with a custom pacifier because she has one of the, like, Wish, Ali Express, Timu pacifier clips that Gabe has. Gabe's an all beaded. So this is what a non... So this is one where you just cut off the nipple of the pacifier and then you glue it on. So I hurt mom. I don't think hers is really center either. So I have that one. Her shoes do not come off. They're, they're molded on. So I didn't know when I bought her. Let me see if I have my marker right here handy. Handy dandy for you guys. monkey was right here. Okay, well, I don't know right this minute. guys i don't know where my monkey currently is my monkey's somewhere but i do have a monkey from her as well like i said i do have two more girls on my way so that's all my packages for today but i'm gonna go because i've not sat down yet and i will catch you guys on the flip side bye guys